Good afternoon, everybody, on a Sunday, about 2 p.m. The Word of God in 1 Corinthians. Now, I have a teaching, one of the teaching tools, last, middle, first. So I'm going to read the last, what I call the finish line, because I've raced stock cars, circle, track, and figure eight, the intersection of infinity. 15, verse 15, chapter 15 of 1 Corinthians, verse 50. I, I'm reading the finish line. I tell you this, brethren, flesh and blood cannot inherit the heavenly kingdom of God, nor does perishable inherit imperishable. Let me read it one more time. I'm re reading Revised Standard 1952. I tell you this, brethren, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God or the spiritual kingdom, the heavenly kingdom of God, nor does perishable inherit imperishable. Now let's back up to verse 42, and we're going to read to the finish line again. We just did last back to first. Here's first, so is it with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown in perishable, remember down here, perishable inherit imperishable. What is sown is perishable. What is raised is imperishable. What is sown in dishonor is raised in glory. Glory light. Uh, Shekinah glory is the presence of God, which he came into the holiest of holies as a cloud. All right? Because God who is spirit, who is likeness, cannot be seen unless he manifests himself in an element that we can see in our realm or our world. And he came in as smoke or a cloud. The Shekinah glory of God. Okay. It is raised in Shekinah glory or in glory light. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. The glory is power. 44. 1544 of 1 Corinthians. That's where I'm reading. It is sown a physical body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. Now, when you get to the end of life, I even wrote a song, standing at the end of my road or standing at the end of the road. And I made a statement, two verses, simple song. Uh, I've fought a good fight. I've run my race. I've kept the faith in. And it's faith in Christ. Christ is the center of the gospel. In a circle or in a ball, the center, and that inside a six-sided cube. All right, so much for the dark sayings or the mystical. Let's go back to the word here. Verse 44, 1 Corinthians 15th chapter 44th verse, in case you haven't got your Bible out yet. It is sown in a physical body. It is raised in a spiritual body. If there is a physical body in our realm where there's image person, there is also a spiritual body, which is uh, likeness, spiritual, invisible, sometimes manifesting itself as light or glory smoke or a cloud, a glory cloud, which you can see. All right, 45. Thus it is written, the first man, Adam, it's not first and last man. Listen to the word of God. The first man, Adam, became a living being, nephish. We won't go there. The last Adam, not the second Adam, the last Adam became a life-giving spirit. 
the last Adam, he, him, himself, a ransom payment for life. May I say that again? The last Adam, he, him, himself, the ransom payment for life. And what does it say here? Let's read on. But it is not the spiritual which is first, but the physical. We're born out of womb water and human bodies, the physical, our realm, our world. Okay? And then the spiritual. That's why he told Nicodemus, Nicodemus, you must be born a second time of the spirit. You were born naturally of your mother's womb water the first time. You must be born again a second time. And it's not reborn. It's born of the spirit that is holy. Born of connected to the capital S, Holy Spirit, Truth, Light. All right. Verse 47. The first man was from the earth a man of dust. The second man is from the spiritual realm, heaven. And it, he comes in likeness spirit that you can't see. You don't get into image until human body person that is seeable. You can see the image, the human body person image. Prior to image, likeness first. Likeness of spirit realm, heavenly, invisible. You can't see the image of the heavenly. It's spiritual. It's invisible. I read on. That's seven minutes. We can go a few more minutes here. Verse 48. As was the man of dust, because Humans were created from the dust of the earth. As was the man of dust, so are those that are of the dust. And as the man of heaven's spiritual realm, so are these who are of heaven. Spirit born, heavenly, likeness. Likeness before image as spirit is before word. The Spirit thought out his will and plan for eternity. The Spirit moved before the Spirit spoke word or wrote word by his finger. Ten Commandments written in stone by the finger of God. Moses did not write the Ten Commandments in stone. Okay, he watched as the finger of God wrote. In Hebrew, that Moses could read and the real ancient old Hebrew, not the Hebrew we see today, or the Hebrew with the dots around them, okay? The real old Hebrew. What do they call it? Paleon, possibly? Paleon Hebrew. Okay, don't hold me to that one. I'm still studying in that direction. Just as we have borne the image of the man which is true, of dust, image and dust, all right, humanity, we shall also bear the likeness, bright glory light of spiritual heavenly. The likeness of spiritual heavenly. Now, here we are at 50, the end, the finish line that we started at in this teaching. I tell you this, brethren, flesh and blood cannot inherit the spiritual heavenly kingdom of God, nor does perishable inherit imperishable. Lo, I tell you a mystery. In if you read 1 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, we are to be good stewards of the mysteries, plural. How many times is mystery in the New Testament? 24 times. There are not 24 mysteries, but you find the word mystery or mysteries 24 times in the New Testament. Have you studied the word mystery or mysteries? 
Can you teach the word mystery or mysteries? Love you. Bye.